Wow, you guys. Now here is an article. I'm out on a walk, as I'm always doing. And I'm holding this cracked ass screen on my phone and I'm trying to read this, but it's kind of hard to see, but I'm still gonna make it happen. Because just because things are difficult sometimes, it doesn't mean you quit. So, let's look at this article. Alien hammerhead flatworm named after pandemic. That's what we're doing now. We're naming worms after pandemics. Great, just great. So let's see, hammerhead flatworms are often described outside the native range. Look, look, at, look, look at this. Due to the pandemic during the lockdowns, most of us were home with our laboratory closed. No field expeditions were possible. Lead author Jean-Lou Justine, a professor at the National Museum of Natural History in Paris said in a statement, I convinced my colleagues to gather all the information we had about the flatworms, do the computer analysis and finally write this very long paper. Typically found in warm parts of Asia, hammerhead flatworms are often accidentally transported around the world by humans and soil from the plant trade. I would say that's one world trade for sure. These flatworms can reproduce asexually, so one hammerhead flatworm can give birth to offspring without a mate, making it easier for them to establish themselves as an invasive species. Organisms that cause eco ecological or economic damage to an environment where they are not native. Humbertium covidium, oh my gosh, were discovered in two gardens. Right there, there where it says, there in France. Southwest France and a garden in Veneto in northern Italy. Although the species likely originated in Asia, some reports indicate the species may also be in Russia, China, and Japan, according to the study. The researchers discovered the second species, which they named Diversipalium myotensis, that whatever that is right there, that one, a French island off the east coast of Africa in the Indian Ocean. This this species could have been introduced to myote from Madagascar. The researchers studied the anatomy and morphology of the flatworms and carried out genetic analysis to formally describe the new species. That name right there again have a unique green-blue iridescence and the researchers determined the species belongs to a hammerhead sister group distinct from all other hammerhead flatworms. This species could therefore be more important. No, it didn't say more important. It could just said it could be important. I heard sisters, so I said we're more important. Sisterhood, okay, wait, just let's stay, no, okay. This species could therefore be important to understanding the evolutionary history of the hammerhead flatworms. Both of the new species measure about 1.2 inches long. That's small for a hammerhead flatworm which can grow to be more than 15 inches. Wow, it may explain why the new species have previously been overlooked by researchers, according to the statement. So you guys, while we're here on Earth Hogwarts School and you're learning about this, uh, <laughs> Covidium, oh shit. I feel like we're casting the uh, script and a spell because isn't that what the English is and it's meant to send you to, oh, hello, wake up.